Thank you. How's the coaching search going so far? Well, it's um, we're in the middle of the process. We've had three um, three uh, candidates in. They they were all uh, really impressive in their own right, and we've got some more work to do. I guess uh, I know not getting into the lawsuit, but just the, the Brian Flores. Yeah, you had an interview with him, correct? Yeah, and we did. What can you say? Did it go well? Was it, how did it? Yeah, he was very impressive, and and we had uh, um, yeah we had a, we had a great interview and. Um, it went well. What are, what are some of the qualities you guys have liked about Dennis Allen just being around him the, the last few years? Well, look, first of all, he's, he's, you know, he's a great coach, and, and um, he's been a part of our building for a long time. Obviously, he, there was a period of time that he wasn't with us, but he's been part of building you know, the culture and the, and the success, big part of the success we've had over the years. Um, and and you know, he's got an experience as a head coach as well. Are the questions for you guys significantly different than they were 15, 16 years ago now? Well, I can't remember 15 or 16 <laughs> years ago, John, but, but uh, I, you know, I don't think I, they probably are different, and yet I think we're still trying to find out the same th sort of things, you know, get a feel for the same th sort of um, things from these head coaching candidates that, uh, you know, a lot of philosophy and vision and leadership and just, you know, the, the specific questions may be a little different in how we uh, go about finding out uh, what we're looking to find out. How many more interviews do you foresee having to conduct with different candidates? Yeah, I think probably at least three, and, and, and you know, we'll see from there. You said the interview with Flores went really well. What do you like and stand out about Brian and yeah, done so far in his career? Look, just a lot of things. I don't want to get into the specifics. Um, but we had, a, we had a good interview, and he's impressive. Did, did Florida give the heads up that this lawsuit was going to be coming prior to interviewing with you guys? Um, he did after we finished the interview. Um, and, and just in general, just in terms of just coaching, uh, coaching hires and, and practices and stuff, do, do you like how the NFL is set up currently with the Rooney Rose? Would you like to see some things change about it or just how, you know, the processes of getting certain candidates in? And, you know, is it – is it one of those things where there may be some tinkering that may need to be done with well, the, uh, the rule? Yeah, I think you always look at, at uh, um, the process and evaluate it and see if there's some things that, that uh, you, know, you might do differently. And, you know, there were some changes this year, and, and afterwards I think the league um, will evaluate that. And, and my guess is they'll make some uh, more adjustments as we go along. But I, there's nothing off the top of my head that I can think of. Mickey, how, how big a decision is this? Well, look, it's, the, you know, it's our head coach. It's the face of the franchise. It's, you know, the direction that we're going to be headed. It's, it's a really important decision. And, and uh, yeah, I'd like it to be someone that coaches here for 16 years and, and, and has a lot of wins like, like the last one. But, uh, yeah, it's an important decision. I don't, you know, I don't think any of us uh, – None of us are taking this lightly. You know, we're, we're looking to find someone who can lead us, uh, lead our team uh, for the long run. How uh, different is this kind of weekend or week with Sean was here for so long with such a yeah. dominating presence? I mean, how, how different is it this week to not have him here? Well, it's just, look, it's, it's different. It's been different, you know, since, since um, you know, since he informed us. And, and um, yeah, it's, it's hard to describe without getting emotional about it. You said you were going to wait and kind of reserve to just have your final thoughts about Sean. Would you like to share the, uh, those, those Yeah, I, I think uh, just because, you know, I don't want that to, um, you know, the main topic this week is obviously uh, the Senior Bowl and the coaching search, and I, I've got a lot of thoughts, and I just want to gather myself before I express them. Um, yeah, it's, it's hard to summarize 16 years in, in, in uh, you know, a few sentences, but when I do, I want to make sure I do it right. Do you still? I, you also say you didn't really have a set timeline for when you wanted to do this. So, has that changed still, or is it still? Well, I think first of all, you always want to do it as quickly as you can, but it's a lot more important to get it right than it is to uh, to be quick. And so we're, we're going to take our time. We've got, uh, um, you know, we we have a set of criteria and things that we're looking for, and uh, you know, there's candidates and and. We're just going to go through the process, and so however long that takes, that's what we'll take. Is there any certain criteria, the biggest 
criteria that you look for in your next head coach? Yeah, th there's some things. I don't want to get into what those are specifically, but we, you know, we have some thoughts that, that we've shared amongst ourselves, and, and uh, I think we have a pretty good idea of what we're looking for. A non-coaching question, but roster-related. How do you kind of go into this offseason at the quarterback <clears throat> position? What, what do you, how do you kind of yeah. evaluate that? Well, I, I think, look, all the roster decisions, we, we've, we've talked about, uh, we've evaluated our team. We kind of have and a pretty good idea of, of what we have. Um, but we need the coaching staff in place and a head coach in place in order to to uh, finish that process. And so I'd rather not answer any questions relative to the roster until after um, we get a head coach in place. Mickey, how do you marry the coaching decision and the quarterback decision? Do they go hand in hand? Are they 1A and 1B? I mean, like how, how important are both? And how are they <laughs> well, they're pretty important. <laughs> you know, we're replacing Drew Brees and and, uh, uh, um, and Sean Payton, so they're pretty important. Um, look, it, it's a question that every candidate's going to have. Hey, who's the quarterback going to be? What are your thoughts? And and look, that's a, that's a collaborative um, decision. And we've got you know we've got in-house candidates and and guys that have been with us, and and you know there may be some. Some other candidates. So we'll, we'll just go through that process and determine who those are, and we'll come up with a uh, collective um, preference. Well, I guess I should say, how much is it in the forefront of your mind that this coach will have a vision for that position? I guess. Yeah, I mean, it, I, again, I think that that's that's a collaborative and collective decision. It's not one person saying this is who it is. Let's do two more questions. <clears throat> Cap situation feeling better than last year, good, um, <laughs> average. <I'd> well, <laughs> look, we're just in that in that pond where it never feels great, yeah. right? Um, we've got some cha challenges, and and we'll manage it. I'm you know I'm confident that we'll manage it uh, in the right way, and you know we're just in that circumstance where we don't have a lot of margin for error. That's just that's just the way it is. It's what happens when you've um, had a good team and you've tried to keep it together and, and stay competitive and but we'll manage it. What, what have you sold? Like, I guess, you know, when coaches are trying to sell you for this job, what have you been selling coaches about, about this job? Well, I, it's a little different than 16 years ago. I'll, I'll grant that. Um, I think we're a desirable place, and I think we're desirable for a lot of reasons. And, and uh, so I, I haven't had to do any selling. Um, simple as that. <laughs> Anything else? Thanks, Mickey. Thank you, Mickey, guys. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, guys. Thanks for coming over here. Mickey.